I love Christian media. It's a blessing. And we are reaching people everywhere. Um, I, I can't be there, but we can reach them. So there was one special day I found this channel, it's God TV. So the first time I don't really know, I just watch it. Each time I switch on the God TV, every time they talk to me, I, I finally found uh, Jesus through God TV. I think we need to see today in Christian media a real big uprising of what it means to be an everyday believer and how we take Jesus into this world. It was just coming across a like, revival that was on God TV and it was affecting me really and going to school I was just telling my friends, man like turn on this Sky Channel God TV and then I got my friends into this revival and we used to come the next day at school talking about it and people think what are you talking about? I'm like, man, you got to watch it, it's on tonight. I want to say thank you for the Christian medias because without the medias, we cannot bring the gospel. As Heidi Baker ministers to a room full here in Ludenscheid, we pray that your room, your living room, is indeed a living room. But I do believe that some the people are following the medias. Uh, they are listening, they are reading the medias, uh, watching the TV. People right now are so after um, realness and people want genuine things. And I love how we can share the raw power of the Lord. Don't change the channel. Stay right where you are. Don't you lift up that remote and think I'll come back when, when he's praying for the sick. You need to hear what God wants to say tonight. The cameras are out there on the field. You know, when you see a new eyeball come into a head, you see withered arm grow, you see someone that was demonized get set free. It would bring the testimony alive. And you will see the glory of God. Amen. I had well jokingly said to someone, oh, wouldn't it be funny if uh, Jesus could heal self-harm scars? When I was washing on warm water, we could see it just fade in, and then eventually they just disappeared. We need to see the real life of a mother who's struggling to see her son saved. We need to see the real life of a nurse who maybe works in, in you know, some pediatric area, but she's prayed for 15 people and they've been miraculously healed and born again. Because I work a lot in the education, sector and social work, etc. I'm not allowed to say, God's just given me a word of knowledge. Mm -hmm. So I just say, I just get in this impression as you're talking to me. But in that, I've led people to the Lord in a job where you're not allowed to witness. We need the truth. We need the truth how we follow Jesus in our weakness, in our brightest days and in the in the in the very bad days. We don't want people developing a relationship with the religion that is Christianity or the church that they go to. It's about looking behind all of that and how do we help people encounter the personality of Jesus. But if we do that in a raw way, in a real way, we won't just have Christian viewers, we'll have non-Christian people looking in for what is God doing through these people.